It's not often a scientific breakthrough gets sung about. But the workers at the world's largest atom smasher are singing about the Higgs boson particle, the so-called God particle that's been the holy grail in the world of physics for almost 50 years. Ever since Peter Higgs, now 83, theorized that the particle must exist in order for the universe and everything in it to hold together, to have what the physicists call mass. Without Higgs boson, there would be no stars, no planets, no us. So at the Large Hadron Collider on the French-Swiss border, they've been blasting bits of atoms at each other and measuring the even tinier bits the collisions produce. As a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. Rolf Hoyer, the project director, announced the results to an appreciative audience of scientists. Though they couldn't say they'd positively found the Higgs boson particle itself, they could say they found one that walks and talks like one and maybe it. Peter Higgs himself looked satisfied, his theory vindicated. For me it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. The challenge now is to explain what it means. Professor Heinz Wolf has been trying to explain science for decades. He even devised a machine to blast meat pies at each other to demonstrate what an atom smasher does. <laughs> so what does the discovery mean for us? If you're the lady in the supermarket, it isn't going to make any difference to you. It's really a big cultural step. Other than that the supermarket wouldn't be there unless this... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we'll wait the supermarket or mass the supermarket. The supermarket exists and the universe exists and now these people believe they found the tiny particle that provides the cosmic glue that holds it all together. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.